329 days the last time the Griffins played a football game. And all this team wanted, all these players, coaches wanted, was a chance to play in a game this fall. They got their first chance Saturday afternoon down here in Conway, Arkansas against an FCS opponent. Coming off a 9-3 campaign in 2019, the Griffins starting their abbreviated 2020 season on the road against FCS number 11 Central Arkansas. Let's start with the opening kickoff. Griffin starting with the ball. Trey Vava, one of the most dangerous return men in the MIAA, puts UCA on notice. Makes the Bears pay, returning the opening kick into the Bears territory, setting up the Griffins with excellent field position. Then a few plays later, Griffin's offense rolling, using the ground game. Jared Scott finishing off the drive with a one-yard touchdown run. 7-0 Griffins with the point after. But you know the Bears answer. Coach Matt Williamson after this game with a lot of praise for this Bears offense and it's plays like this. UCA answers later in the first on this. Braylon Smith tosses one down the field to Tyler Hudson. Goes up, makes the play. That ties this game up at 7-all. Problems for the Griffins in the first half continue, though. UCA up 14-7 now in the second quarter. Smith to Winningham for six. 21-7 Bears and 38-7 Bears at the break. 38 unanswered first half points for Central Arkansas after the Griffins' first score. The Bears go on to beat the Griffins in Western season opener 52-10. The Griffins do lose their season opener to FCS Central Arkansas, but this game meant so much more to these players and these coaches. Just the opportunity to give back and play the game. Oh, it's crazy because, I mean, he told us one day, he was like, we don't even know if we're going to play UCA. We two, three days away, you know what I mean? We've been working this whole time, so it's crazy. I don't know. As if there weren't already enough roadblocks and hurdles to get to this point for the Griffins, what a week it was for Coach Williamson and his staff. And back on Thursday, he found out he lost some of his defensive coaching staff due to quarantine, as well as some key players also unable to play in this game against Central Arkansas. I was lo I typically lost. I was called a bunch of coaches. I called Coach Jackson. I called. Obviously, this has never happened. You know, the COVID. <laughs> It's just a, it's a whole nother ball game, you know, and uh, we had to adjust and that's what, you know, just try to always find a way. And uh, so I started calling, called some buddies, find a friend, try to put some pieces together, talk about some things, talk with uh, Coach Richter over Zoom because he was quarantined, you know, so we're talking with him for two days, trying to get hit in his mind. Um, usually I perform, you know, I just do all the special teams and I, I kind of let our offensive and defensive coordinators run the show and throw my two cents in here or there, but I had to dive back in. Hadn't done that. It's been the first time since I'd left Stephen F. Austin. So it was an adjustment. It was really, it really was. But uh, I like that stuff. I mean, it's different. And uh, let's go, you know. And Missouri Western starts its four game 2020 season with a loss down here to Central Arkansas. But there's still three more games to go. In fact, the next game at home against Pittsburgh State. And now